everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another first impression and review video and it's actually going to be on a foundation and a concealer. Today I will be reviewing the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and also the Maybelline Instant Andy Anti-Age um, eraser. Well, it's a concealer. Um, for the foundation I have the shade 320 and the concealer is the shade Nude. There's only two shades I believe, there's light and nude and actually when I did my top 5 concealers video one of you mentioned that the Urban Decay one which I have right here is looks quite similar to the Maybelline and they actually do when you look at them they look the colour looks quite similar so I've always wanted to try this um, concealer but I never got around to do it because I thought this would be too light but Anyways, I have swatched it, I think it will be alright, but I'm so excited to try it. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this, and as you all know, I get quite annoyed by the fact that drugstore brands, well many of them, don't have darker shades for deeper skin tones. Um, if they do, they would only have like two shades, so it's either too dark or too light, and there's never like any shades in between. I know in America, like every time I see drugstore shops, there's just so many deeper shades, and I, I wish I, we could have that here, because they have so many shades for drugstore brands, and I'm so jealous. But, I didn't know that they had this shade, well this foundation in my shade, and I was actually looking on Amazon, and they actually have it. I've never seen it in a, any shops in the UK, but I think... This is from America, I think you can, get, you can get it from America, but I found it on Amazon. Um, so when I found it, I was really happy. I actually bought a darker shade, I bought 350, I think, and that was too dark. And I then got the 320, and this is perfect, I have swatched it. If you are looking for a drugstore foundation and they don't have your shade, check on Amazon, because they have a lot of foundations that you can't find in shops that have deeper shades which is kind of cool. I do have the Fit Me concealer here but um, I have the shade 25 and I think it's a bit too light and I've already tried it so I thought let me just try it with the Adria Wine concealer. If that's what, is that what it's called? I always hear people saying it's an Adria Wine concealer but it says anti-age eraser. But anyways let's just get straight into this video. So I already have my eye makeup a bit done and also my brows a little bit they're not finished because I'm just waiting to put my foundation on and I am going to moisturize my skin and you guys know the drill I'm going to use my Gynae Moisture Match Cream to moisturize I'm then also going to prime half of my face with my Splashbox Photo Finish Primer and we'll just see if there's a difference between both sides so while that's setting in, I have the foundation here and it sucks because it doesn't have a pump and I'm so sick and tired of foundations not having pumps now. I Seriously, it's so much easier to just pump it out. But anyways, um, it's quite um, liquidy. Let me just swatch it for you guys. It's like very runny. So that's it right there. So that's what it looks like on my skin. I hope you guys can see this clearly. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. It looks quite dark when I'm putting it on my skin. Okay, let's just blend this out with my Beauty Blender. I have it damp here. It seems to blend really nicely. I don't know about the shade though. It does look quite orange and a bit dark. Well, I got this shade. Can you imagine with 350 how dark it was? It was just like so dark. Just going to apply some more. Oh crap. See, this is why. This is why I need a pump. When that happens, I just scoop it right back in. Just scoop it in. So I really like how the foundation blends out and it's I like the smell. I don't know why I'm obsessed with the smell, but it doesn't apply patchy whatsoever. The only thing is, is the shade. 
I mean, I think this is too dark. This looks very dark. I don't know. But it's not like dark dark. It's like you can tell that I have foundation on my skin because of the shade. I do think that I can maybe lighten the foundation with the concealer hopefully. <laughs> but I don't know. It looks very dark. Like, oh, I don't know. So now I'm going to take the concealer. I'm in the shade Nude. Pop the lid off. And it says to like twist it. So it says a twist until you see the product, so I can see some product, and I'm just going to just dab this on. I am going to apply quite a bit because the foundation is so dark. This applicator is actually really fun. So I'm going to take my beauty blender again and just blend everything out. So on the edges of the concealer I use the other end that I blended my foundation with to just blend the edges so it doesn't go too far out. But so far I'm actually liking this concealer. So the one thing that I realised with this concealer is that it does set in, it's, it, like the more you leave it on I can realise that it's easy to blend it here but then like as I get towards the other areas of the face it's just harder to blend. I'm just going to get some more foundation and kind of fix this bit here because I don't like it there actually so. Okay, I really like these two together. I mean, once I apply the concealer, my complexion doesn't look that bad. It actually is okay. It's not too dark. I'm just going to quickly set that in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I just recently got it and I'm so glad I did. I've missed this so much. You guys don't even know. So far I really like the finish, please mind these circles here, I've always had them, it's just that I don't know why every time I put foundation on I always have these, it's just where my skin is a bit lighter, I don't know what to do about that, but it looks so horrible right now. I don't know if you can notice it, but I definitely notice it and it, I just hate it so much. But overall I really like the foundation and it blends really nicely on the skin, it looks flawless it really evens out your skin tone apart from this bit here which I never nothing ever evens this out anyway so the only downside to it is the shade it, it is a bit dark for me but I am going to get the body shop mixing mediums I don't know they have like a new thing that's come out where you have a light version and a dark version and you just add a few drops and then you can adjust your foundation shade um, I do I do have my Urban Decay foundation that's too light and this one's too dark so I'm going to get both of them and maybe do a video on it and yeah so, so some of you have been asking on my Instagram because I was going to sell my Urban Decay foundation but um, one of you mentioned um, those custom drops and I will be trying to get them and do a video on it so that will be up hopefully on my channel soon so I'm not too bothered about the shade I mean I looked at all the shades, I, other than this one I don't see another one that would suit me, the others are just way too light. As Like I was saying, you either have too dark, too light, there's never like a perfect shade with drugstore foundations, the, their shade range is so limited and it really bothers me. <laughs> because some of these foundations are really good and like us darker skin tone girls can't like make the most of them because we don't, we can't even try them because they're so light or there's never the right shade so that really sucks to be honest but 
Overall, I do kind of like this foundation. The concealer seems to stay on really nicely. But overall, I like the finish. My skin looks flawless. And yeah, I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I've now finished the rest of my makeup and please excuse the brows again. I'm trying to grow them out and they look humongous right now. It's just so hard for me to do them properly nowadays. I don't know why. That's why I'm kind of putting off on doing an updated brow routine. But once I get them threaded, I will make sure to film that video for you guys. But anyways, um, back to this foundation and concealer. I'm liking it after applying the rest of my makeup um, it didn't, it didn't my, well my bronze and stuff didn't apply patchy on it the only thing is I wouldn't apply the concealer here again anymore my skin feels very smooth and hydrated and it, my nose doesn't f seem to look like it's peeling or flaky or dry so overall so far I'm liking it but we'll just see how it holds through the day and yeah so I'll be back later on so I'm back again and it is now seven o'clock and I actually forgot to tell the time when I first filmed it and it's so annoying like every time I forget I don't know why but it was around 11 o'clock and it's been around eight hours that I have the foundation on I just need to remember every single time I do these videos to say the time which is really important but um, I have worn this foundation for around eight hours now and to be honest I'm really happy with it it means I mean it's really sunken into my skin and it just looks still flawless I mean it has kind of like faded away in these areas but I don't really mind I mean after eight hours you could expect something like that and also I don't set my foundation with a powder so it's even worse it won't it won't really stay in place that that long if you do set it with a powder it would stay in place even longer um, but it's not made my nose dry at all neither my forehead and it's just it just I just love the foundation and the concealer I mean the concealer hasn't even creased creased a little bit when you pull the skin down but it's not like visible so as you can see the concealer really held up really well in my opinion especially for a drugstore and it feels so smooth under my eyes I just kept touching it so throughout the day I've been touching it so much because it just feels really smooth for some reason and I feel like it's, it's sunken in really well it hasn't create a crease like if I put it down you can obviously see the creases but if it's like that you can't really see it it also hasn't given me that much of smile lines a bit on this side but it hasn't really given me that ma that much of them which is a really big plus side for me and yeah so the pros are it stays on really well it gives it makes your skin look really flawless it doesn't give me smile lines it doesn't make me dry it's also really affordable for foundation. I got it for £5 or £6 on Amazon and I think that's really good. The cons are obviously the shade range isn't that great and probably the shade that I have is a bit too dark but I think it's alright. But that's all I really have to say about this foundation. It hasn't really done much else. I think it's done a good job and I'm really happy that I have this foundation. For the concealer, I just love it now. I'm so happy um, that I bought it. Thank you to the person who did mention it and made me buy it. So I'm really happy that I got it now. And the pros to it, I would say, are that it didn't crease that much. It's super brightening. It makes my under eyes feel super smooth. And the shade is alright for my skin tone. I would say the cons are that there's not there's only like two shades which sucks and I don't know I also like the applicator it's super fun to do like just draw on your face like that I really like it so yeah overall I give both of them around a 9 out of 10 I would give the concealer a 10 to be honest because I don't apart from the shade range I really like it and the foundation apart from the fact that it was a bit dark that's it really I mean they're both good. I really like both of them. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave me some more suggestions in the info box if you would like me to try out any concealers or foundations or any other product in general. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!